my dear net set aspirants my dear brothers and sisters my dear students i heartily welcome all of you i am mr bhanaiya sir village tolanur taluka akalkot district sholapur maharashtra i heartily welcome all of you for today's session friends today is 23rd april 2023 today we are celebrating world book day books are playing important role in everybody's life those who read books they will get the knowledge those who read the books they will survive books unmeasurable wealth so i request you you also make a good friendship with books books are your gurus books are your friends books are your wealth because you are going to become assistant professor until your last breath you must keep books with you so thank you why we are celebrating books actually 23rd april 1995 the united nation the u the UN, the un organization started celebrating 23rd april as a world book day the reason behind celebrating this book was book day was on this day a 23rd april 9th 1564 william shakespeare was born in england william shakespeare is known as a synonymous words to english english means shakespeare shakespeare means english we we know his name as a famous dramatist is a play writer he is a poet shakespeare well known person a person who didn't go to college he worked as a stable boy he was working as a servant in a natak company in a drama company illiterate person a common man become extraordinary writer extraordinary dramatist why we the indian students are saluting william shakespeare why his dramas are very popular because he narrated he explained human beings nature in his drama he wrote 37 dramas in each and every drama he mentioned the human's nature the greediness the angriness the jealousy the happiness you know, all all the thought process while reading his books while reading his dramas we came to know that it is happening in my life it is happening in my family it is happening in my village it is happening in my district it is happening in my state it is happening in my country contemporary problems are mentioned in during 16th century so salute shakespeare now i tell you paper number 1 teaching aptitude teaching aptitudes in this topic we are going to take methods of teaching teachers are teaching to the students by using different methods we have one special method the name of teaching method is dialogic teaching method dialogic dialogic teaching method di means to logic dialogic teaching dialogic teaching means conversation teaching dialogic teaching means dialogue teaching dialogic teaching means talking teaching dialogic teaching means it is a the common the teaching is based on conversation of teacher and students is known as dialogic teaching even even i tell you teaching means what teachers are expressing the subject matter to the students teachers are telling information about the subject to the students it is known as teaching but dialogic teaching means what even we can call it as a dialogic 
learning dialogic learning students are learning the subject matter by conversing with the teacher students are learning the subject matter by talking with the teachers teachers are teaching the subject matter to the students by talking is known as dialogic teaching students are learning the subject matter by talking with the teacher is known as dialogic learning teachers are teaching students are learning the teaching and learning process happens through conversation through talking through dialogue through discussion with teacher and students first time see the first time the term was used by robin alexander it was a question asked in the net exam who used a dialogic teaching term first time robin alexander in 2000 in 2000 in 2000 robin alexander he is from england he used this term dialogic teaching even this man even it, it is known as who is the father of dialogic teaching robin alexander was known as the father of dialogic teaching he explained this term in his book this book was published in 2004 the name of book is towards dialogic teaching rethinking a classroom talk see the definition teaching through conversation teaching through conversation between teacher and student is known as dialogic teaching teachers see that when the teacher is teaching the subject matter to the students at the time teacher is talking to the student teacher is asking the questions to the student teacher is inquiring the subject matter teacher asks the questions students gives the response again teacher asks again student gives the response even student asks the questions teacher gives information teacher tells the answer teacher gives the feedback here is a dialogue here is a communication here is the what I can say one person asks the questions another person tells the answer another person asks the questions teacher gives the answer dialogue even in general we 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 converse now what is your name from which place you came here why you came here what are you doing at present time what is your ambition general way we discuss but here teachers are talking to the students with subject in the context of subject in the context of curriculum in the context of related topic they are not talking personal subject they are not talking personal way that is not a but here the teacher should allow the students to ask the questions here the teacher should stimulate the students to ask the questions here the teacher should support make the facility make the cooperation to the students for asking the questions if both are very free then only communication happens discussion happens dialogue happens talking happens Ro dialogic teaching is based on socratic philosophy socrates was a well-known philosopher from greek even he focused on dialogue talking dialogic teaching harnesses supports encourages improves stimulates encourages the power of talk power of talk is very important power of communication is important talking is important in the classroom teacher should talk student should talk student should talk teacher should talk both talking is important on particular topic not general talking that talking is not improved here productive talking is important production of thought is important discussion on a particular point is important power of talk to engage students interest while talking students are getting interest in the topic stimulate their thinking students are improving their thinking capacity and advance their understanding by discussing by talking by uh, making conversation students are understanding more and more and more and more look at this example teacher is talking to the student students are talking with the teachers dialogue happens between these two candidate teacher and student 
here dialogue is important productive thinking is important productive thoughts are important not making dismissive issues <laughs> not fighting don't ask unnecessary questions apart from the subject okay here teaching and learning process this is teaching and this is learning teachers are teaching students are learning teaching learning process process happens through dialogue it is known as dialogic teaching using a talking skill most effectively while carrying teaching learning process communication skill talking skills are very important while delivering the thoughts in the classroom teaching learning process happens by using most effective talking should be happened in the classroom if teacher is keeping quiet no talking all students are also keeping no talking if they are if both are silent then who is going to talk <laughs> you mukya you talk <laughs> teacher is talking students are talking but while talking philosophy and psychology should be correct teacher should not get angry if student ask some silly questions he should tell him that you ask the questions relevant to the topic you ask the questions regarding the subject matter don't sir, don't ask me sir is your wife is putting pair and only on if was pair <laughs> you don't ask this question if my wife is <laughs> sir what your madam is doing <laughs> why you are asking this question don't ask this question this is personal problem question <laughs> okay. okay next it helps dialogic teaching helps power of talking okay after talking students get confidence students understand more information student clarify his doubts doubts students understand more information on subject it increases the students thinking power thinking capacity thinking ability thinking potential see that these are the question mark in the students mind students are getting more questions on subject matter dialogic teacher dialogic teaching support the question mind of the student if students are asking more questions then we should think that student wants to more information if student is unable to ask a single questions then something is wrong your teaching is not good or you you are a autocratic you are threatening the students not ask the questions now students should ask more and more question this kind of teaching method is known as dialogic teaching method thank you so much namaskar